morning peoples. I'm just out on my morning bike ride and I uh, thought you might like to see how my brain works when I'm cycling around or driving around. Uh, as an artist I'm always looking for scenes to paint so my, my brain is pretty much turned on to painting mode the whole time. Uh, if you're a painter you probably know what I mean. So I came across this little scene way in the distance here and it caught my eye but it doesn't translate really nicely and easily into a painting right and, and usually nature doesn't arrange herself for you so that you can just copy it onto a canvas but there are elements here that I love and that I'd like to see in a painting um, so how do I turn the scene into a painting well First of all, I concentrate on the, the things that, I, that first catches my eye that I love about the, paint, uh, about the scene. So that is these little buildings nestled at the foot of these big dark trees here. These little light and dark shapes and this big dark shape here. That's the first thing that I love. So that may be the center of interest of my painting. But as a scene here, you know it's not really got a lot going for it so what elements can I use from the scene to turn this into a painting I've got let's see these reeds in the foreground which are a nice um, color addition and they sort of echo this this warm color on the side of the building but they they create this uh, barrier into the painting so I'd want to if I did include them, I'd want to put a path through it or something like that, that that breaks, or a shadow that would break that that line. So allow access to the to the rest of the painting. What else we got? We got this really nice dark shape here. I don't know if you can see that. See the little dark bits coming off the side of the tree there. Some nice details because this as a tree. It's a bit too symmetrical for me. I'd want to change that if I did include that, which I probably would. Um, I'd want to probably put some of this dark stuff, interesting stuff over here. I'd have to light it a bit because of the angle of the light. I also like this light tree here, this trunk against the dark, and it's really nice. And what else we got? Could include this the hill here I might det detract a little bit from this the center of interest so maybe just the shadow shape which is okay a drinking trough might want to move that over here and maybe place some cows if I did have a track have some cows on the track sort of walking down to the trough one drinking at the trough to give it give the painting a narrative and there are well there aren't any here at the moment but there's normally cows wandering around these hills so if I come back at another time could get them so what else I've got these distant hills which are nice I'd actually want to make those a little bigger because at the moment they're sort of just exactly double the height of those buildings so I'd probably just make them another so big and push them way into the distance so that'll help me uh, create more depth in my painting so make them lighter and bluer just a smudge in the distance and whether I want to keep this the whole color like it is or change it well that's the topic for a whole nother video but um, there's plenty of elements here to play around with as you can see and so as a painter it's just a matter of uh, gaining the confidence through doing enough painting to feel that oh, yeah, I can move these objects I can change them a little bit uh, to my will and make a, a painting that reads better than the scene is providing you with so I hope that helps a little bit and maybe I'll help you look at your local landscapes a little differently because there always is a gem somewhere. Get your brushes out, happy painting. <laughs>